The Thermopolis Bobcats have been to Laramie before, and they brought everything that was purple and gold with them in the 2A state championship game against Bighorn. First quarter, Colby Wollman was pulling double duty in this game for the Rams as both quarterback and kicker. This field goal try is good from 28 yards, and Bighorn scores first, up 3-0. Thermopolis would fumble on the kickoff. Wollman's now doing his other job, but you could probably blame the snowfall on this one. He overshoots his target, and the pass is intercepted by Jacob Brown. The Bobcat will bring it back to about the 40-yard line, and the defending state champs were able to set up shots. But this offensive possession didn't last long because one good turnover is deserving of another. Brown's going to get relieved of his duties. Brandon Metzger's going to end up at the bottom of the pile and recover the fumble. The Rams couldn't do anything but the turnover, and that's how part of this game went. Later, Thermop back on the attack. Mitch Severson's going to have his legs taken out from under him, courtesy of Metzger. The undefeated Rams still led three zips after the first 12 minutes. Second quarter, here's Wolleman for another field goal try. 36 yards, and he'll split the uprights. Bighorn doubles their lead. It's now 6-0. About 1 minute and 30 seconds to go until halftime. Thermop's offense would finally get on track. Steverson's looking for some distance, and he sees Chris Ryan right in front of the camera. The two hook up for a 33-yard gain down to the Rams' 23-yard line, but there was still more work to do in order to get that zero off the scoreboard. Two plays later, the two would try it again, go in the other direction this time. Steverson is throwing deep. Ryan is on the far sideline this time, and he makes the catch down to the one-yard line, and there's still about 36 left on the clock before the break. That's enough time to get one yard in. Severson's going to charge forward and finish the job himself. A lot of work for one yard, but he scores. PAT good. Thermop up 7-6 going into the locker room. Third quarter, not much happening except for this one play. Severson was looking for his favorite target, Ryan, headed towards the end zone, but this ball didn't have the distance on it this time. Trent Mancini makes the interception at the one. Bighorn couldn't do anything with it, but at least they kept the other team from scoring on that drive. Fourth quarter, Rams still down 7-6. Wolleman again from 30 yards. He was 3-4 for four on field goal tries in this game. Bighorn reclaims the lead, 9-7. The Bobcats would then take their time with their next possession, and their patience eventually paid off. Severson's looking for a chunky yardage, and he asks, what can Brown do for you? How about pick up 31 yards? That moves things past midfield, and Thermop was picking up yardage in small chunks the rest of the way. With a little more than one minute remaining on the clock, Severson's going to call his own number and get the finish around the far side from five yards himself. That would cap off a 16-play, 75-yard drive. Two-point no good. Thermop back on top, 13-9. There was enough time for the Rams to mount one last drive, but this time a field goal would do them no good. They had yet to get into the end zone, and Kyle Pebbles was going to make sure that didn't happen. He'll bam-bam and break Bighorn's perfect record with this pick. The Thermopolis Bobcats avenge their one loss from earlier this season and repeat as 2A state champions. 13-9, they'll finish the season with a record of 10-1.